amplitude resonance we know that amplitude resonance is a phenomenon exhibited by a forced harmonic oscillator when the driving frequency approaches a particular value or amplitude resonance is a condition in which a forced harmonic oscillator oscillates with maximum amplitude at a particular value of driving frequency which is very close to the natural frequency of the oscillator that is we know that the amplitude of a forced harmonic oscillator a is equal to f0 it will be equal to f0 by root of omega 0 square minus p square the whole square plus 4 k square p square this is the amplitude of a forced harmonic oscillator this when the oscillator is showing amplitude resonance amplitude of the oscillator will be maximum the driving frequency will be having a particular value now we have to see what is the value of driving frequency at which a forced harmonic oscillator exhibits amplitude resonance and we will see what is the maximum value of amplitude for a forced harmonic oscillator that is when it is exhibiting amplitude resonance or when the phenomenon of resonance occurs amplitude of the oscillator will be maximum if this amplitude is maximum then we know that the denominator will be having the minimum value in order to find that value we can apply the minimizing condition as d by dp of omega 0 square minus p square the whole square plus 4k square p square is equal to 0 this is the minimizing condition that is amplitude becomes maximum at amplitude resonance when amplitude is maximum its denominator should be equal to minimum that is why we apply this minimizing condition now we have to differentiate this term with respect to p minimizing with uh, differentiating with respect to p the first term is omega 0 square minus p square the whole square so differential is 2 into omega 0 square minus p square into we have to differentiate this term also with respect to p omega 0 is a constant so we have to derive we have to write the derivative of minus p square with respect to p that is that will be equal to minus of 2 into p plus here 4k square is a constant and derivative of p square is 2p that is 8k square p will be equal to 0 now we have on this side we can put the negative sign into the bracket applying negative sign into the bracket and 4p into this when sign is reversed that is p square minus omega 0 square plus 8 into k square p is equal to 0 both these terms have a common factor of 4p you can cancel 4p and 4p then this becomes p square minus omega 0 square the whole square plus 4p is cancelled that is 2k square this is equal to 0 now we can write this p square is equal to bringing omega 0 minus omega 0 square to the right hand side becomes positive that is omega 0 square and bringing plus 2k square to the right hand side becomes negative minus of 2k square that means p is equal to root of omega 0 square minus 2k square this is the frequency at which the amplitude becomes maximum and we can represent this frequency as pr where pr is known as the resonant frequency or free resonance frequency that value is pr is equal to omega root of omega 0 square minus 2k square where omega 0 is the natural angular frequency of the oscillator and k is the damping factor now we'll see what is the maximum value of amplitude that is at this resonant frequency when frequency or driving frequency is equal to root of omega 0 square minus 2k square what will be the value of amplitude equal to for that amplitude is equal to 
F0 by root of omega 0 square minus P square. You can substitute for P square as omega 0 square minus 2K square plus 4K square. For P square you can write PR square because at rest we are considering this for the resonant frequency. So this is equal to F0 by root of omega 0 square minus omega 0 square both terms cancels then we have a square here don't forget to put the square here this square this is omega 0 square minus omega 0 square 0 then 2k square the whole square becomes 4k raised to 4 negative sign becomes positive plus 4k square p r square this is equal to we can take a 2k outside this sorry here we have again in the numerator you have f0 f0 by can take 2k outside 4k square square root is 2k then inside this you have again k square plus p r square this will be the remaining terms so the amplitude becomes maximum and the maximum value of amplitude is f0 by root of 2k into root of k square plus p r square that is when driving frequency is equal to PR or that is equal to omega 0 square minus 2 K square but this value also becomes but the maximum value of amplitude will get when PR is equal to omega 0 consider the case when PR is approximately equal to omega 0 squares then what will be the case in this a man that will be the case of maximum value of amplitude a max will be equal to F0 by root of omega 0 square minus PR square. This both terms are equal. So that will be equal to 0 plus 4K square. Instead of PR square you can write omega 0 square. That means maximum value of amplitude A max will be equal to F0 by you can take this outside to k into root of omega 0 square is omega 0 or this is equal to you know that 1 by 2k is equal to tau or relaxation time that is f0 tau by omega 0 this is the maximum value of amplitude that is for a forced harmonic oscillator amplitude can attain a maximum value of f0 tau by omega 0 where tau is the relaxation time and omega 0 is the natural angular frequency. This happens when the condition is PR is approximately equal to omega 0. It cannot attain a value greater than this. And also we will see what is the amplitude at P equal to 0. What is the value of amplitude at P equal to 0. At P is equal to 0 amplitude becomes F0 by root of root of omega 0 square minus p square but omega 0 square the minus p 0 square is again 0 the whole square plus 4 k square p square term becomes 0 so this is equal to f 0 by omega 0 raised to 4 root of that is omega 0 square then we can see what is the quality factor of a forced harmonic oscillator? Quality factor Q will be equal to A max divided by A at P equal to 0. This is how we can define the quality factor of a forced harmonic oscillator. Q factor, quality factor of Q factor is equal to amplitude maximum divided by amplitude at P equal to 0. That is ratio of amplitude at at which uh, ratio of amplitude maximum amplitude to 
amplitude at which driving frequency equal to zero or ratio of amplitude at with at driving frequency approximately equal to natural frequency and amplitude at driving frequency equal to zero so what will be that and that will be equal to quality factor will be equal to f0 to by omega 0 divided by what is amplitude at what is amplitude at p equal to 0 amplitude at p equal to 0 is f0 by omega 0 square so that substituting that f0 by omega 0 square so this will be equal to omega 0 into to omega of 0 and f0 will cancel omega 1 omega 0 will cancel and it will be taken to the numerator that is omega 0 to this is the quality factor for a forced harmonic oscillator the ratio of amplitude at driving frequency approximately equal to omega 0 by and amplitude at driving frequency equal to 0 that is how quality factor can be defined in the case of a forced harmonic oscillator so for the forced harmonic oscillator the maximum value of amplitude will be equal to f0 to by omega 0 where f F0 is the natural frequency, tau is the relaxation time, and omega 0 is the natural angular frequency. <coughs> and also the value of resonant frequency will be equal to root of omega 0 square minus 2k square. When damping is very low, this k will be equal to 0 or this will be approximately equal to omega 0. That is the condition at which amplitude becomes maximum when damping is very low.